Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Alliance War. Today we are going to be looking at War 7 of Season 21 and for Loki is facing ASR. Now ASR of course is one of the top alliances so we know we have to bring our all to this war. I'm actually joining in pretty late this war. Um, I think everyone else has finished the their Section 1 paths at this point. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be joining up and heading down the middle in path 5 to first hit this Dormammu. Not too worried about the fight because, uh, yeah, I fought tons of Dormammus. The, uh, degen can be a little annoying, but with Ghost, if you bring the Hood Synergy, you can just phase during the degen if it ever triggers. And then... You'll just not take damage while you're phasing. Unfortunately, since the degen is passive, you can't turn them into furies, but that's fine. Just uh, gotta wait them out. Now, Dormammu, of course, is not a defensive champion, so he is not stubborn. So I don't have to worry about any of that. Now this note is the ebb and flow knockdown, but uh, it's not really an issue. I'm still doing a decent amount of damage, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Phase a special one there. I always try not to dex it, if possible, because if you phase right when he launches it, you can just phase through the whole thing, and then you won't get any uh, precision buff from the dexterity, so he can't degen you there. So, pretty clean fight. And now we're heading on to this rank 3 6 star Havoc. Of course, ASR being a top alliance has lots of rank 3s, so I have quite a few I'm taking this uh, this war. Along with some of the newer champs. Gonna pop on a 12% tech boost just to increase my damage so the, uh, the power back is more likely to trigger. Now I'd like to bait out his heavies here. And if, I, if you time it right, you can hit him right when the unstoppable ends. Uh, but I like to bait out heavies from this guy just so uh, he doesn't gain too many plasmas. Now, unfortunately, he uh, just chucked out his special one as soon as he got it. Uh, just gonna put tons of plasmas on me. But I end up taking him down right before they detonate. Uh, so I get pretty lucky there. So that fight's done. I did eat the special one to the face, so I lost about 12% health there, but not a big deal. Now we have our second rank three of the war, where we're fighting this human torch. Just gonna pop on a little heal here. Bring me up to full. And this node is the steady build up fury node. So if I have too many buffs uh he's gonna gain fury but really isn't an issue just gonna go ahead and get started here phasing a few hits trying to get up to my special two drop it here and it's just gonna finish him off so even though he's a rank three Ghost still does massive damage, of course, with the big boosts and just being rank 3 herself. Now here I'm going to head up the middle again onto path 5, but first we have this apocalypse kind of shared fight in the middle here. Uh, just a rank 2, so he doesn't have a gigantic health pool, but he's still a pretty, pretty beefy boy. 
Now, this node can be pretty annoying. He's got kinetic transference and footloose, so whenever he launches a special, he will go unstoppable, and he'll have a chance to evade, and every time I block the special attack, he's going to gain more and more power. And at this point, I'm not extremely comfortable dodging his specials, as I've said before. So, I'm going to try to uh, get him not to use them. So I held block there, but he still used it, which is pretty annoying. I had to block it, and it just gives him another bar of power. He uses it immediately again. And now he is up to two bars of power. <laughs> and at this point, I'm getting kind of worried. I haven't hit him in a while, so I have the armor break there from the node. Um, but I'm just going to decide to push into special three. I, of course, have the hood synergy so I can phase it and take no damage. It is kind of annoying to phase his special because it has a chance to put concussion on you, and that would prevent me from phasing consistently. But I end up getting pretty lucky and just get uh, the other debuffs, no concussion. I'm gonna drop my special three as soon as I can. It's gonna bring him down pretty low. And I'm just gonna bury him. And yeah. So, not the cleanest fight ever, but turned out okay. Pretty good placement there. That fight's uh, pretty difficult, I think. Ghost handles it alright, though. Uh, up next, we have the Sasquatch here in the middle. Just a 5-star, so not a, not a giant health pool for this guy, either. Just going to top off here with uh, one of the level 4 alliance health potions. And get into the fight. Well, this guy is defensive, so I'm going to have to parry him to take off the stubborn. But uh, other than that, should be uh, too big of a deal. So again, just facing up to my special two. I'm not going to worry about the indestructible until I'm over there. Drop the special two. I'm going to drop another one. And that'll do it. Sasquatch gets pretty annoying the longer the fights get because he gets that rage or wrath or whatever it's called. Um, but Ghost can just finish him off right there. Now I ended up splitting this path with TJ here because Ghost can't really do Nova. But he handled it fine. Uh, up next we have Avoid. It's going to be another 6 star rank 3. Gonna make sure to top off just in case I get some debuffs on me. I don't wanna degen out super fast. Probably would've been fine, but just wanna play it safe. Still haven't died yet this season, so I'm trying to keep up that streak. So Void, of course, is stubborn. So I've gotta get some parries off. This time this okay didn't take the degen too long from that buff. Now he has his indestructible backup, and I'm now armor broken. So my special doesn't do a whole ton of damage. He still has that protection. And now I'm taking a bunch of degen damage because that one wasn't timed as well. Alright, finally back up to my special too. And he doesn't have the protection up, so I drop that. But he gets it right at the end, so it doesn't doesn't quite finish him off there. I'm gonna have to bait out special two. Luckily, he tosses it pretty freely. Uh, got a cheeky little intercept there before I drop a special one to finish it off. And that's actually my last fight for this war. 
total of six fights. Three of them were rank threes. A bunch of stubborn ones as well. Uh, pretty, pretty clean war. And again, haven't died yet, so that's always good. Now, unfortunately, we did end up losing this war. ASR is always a good alliance. They always play really well, so it's always a toss-up when we fight them. Uh, but that'll bring us to three wins and four losses for the season. And that's going to do it for this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to drop a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment if you have something to say. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.